Hello guys, um, I did say on a thread earlier that I'd actually do a create a Minecraft logo completely in Photoshop CS5 Extended. Um, it is only available in CS5 Extended because it's the only program I believe that has the 3D options. However, I have heard a rumour that you can download a free plugin from Adobe that does entitle CS4 to have th 3D, but I'm not entirely sure on that. Okay, to the tutorial, go to File, New, create a new document to whatever size you need it, that'll do fine for me, and set the background to transparent. Click OK. Select your text tool, <coughs> select the Minecraft font, which I'll put a link somewhere in this thread or description so you can actually download the Minecraft font. It's a free font, widely available, probably from defont.com or somewhere. Select your text layer to be the grey that you find matching. Uh, probably best to actually download a Minecraft logo and then colour sample it. But this is just for tutorial on how to do it. So type your text in. Then press Ctrl T to transform it. Then whilst holding down the shift key and alt key it will center it from the beginning from the middle so you can get rough decision and then just position it to however you like but as this is just a basic tutorial there's no need to be too accurate okay so once you've done that you need to go to 3d at the top here and set the repose text layer Okay, at this stage, once you click yes here, you will not be able to edit the text anymore. So make sure whatever happens at this point, the text is exactly how you want it. So you click yes. Um, Photoshop 3D seems to be a bit slow on my computer. I don't know if it's just my computer or whether it is just the fact that 3D is a slow element. Okay, and first of all, what you need to work on is getting the right angle. So if you go to the top left here, Repose menu, you'll see the rotate the mesh tool. So, with that selected, you'll get this little icon come up that's like a curly arrow. So, just literally click on your text and then just move it up. As you can see, you can brilliant thing about 3D, you work in a 3D virtual world. So, once you get it in a position you like, then you need to change the extruded nerves depth and I think about 0.59 seems to work well lucky that's good and that is it on your 3d text then you need to create a new layer select your brush tool you need to select the lightning brush which I haven't got installed at the moment so you have to click this little arrow here and then there's an option for load brushes I've got lightning I've actually got a brush but for the tutorial I'll actually put another lightning brush on here on my desktop just to locate it so you can see where it is I mean once you've downloaded the ABR file this is what you'll have if you put it on desktop it'll be the same location and click load and you'll see you'll get these lightning paint brushes come up on your screen Select one that you like the looks of and change your colour back to default. So you press D or click this little black and white button here and you get the black. Then using square brackets keys, just get it into position you like. I think it's only shaking and vibrating because it's my video recording software that's doing that. And go into your brush dynamics and just flip it over a bit so you get a bit of old alternative so it's not a repetitive pattern. Maybe flip it upside down as well. Until you get roughly something you like the looks of. Which could take you a while. And uh, today it's your own personal logo, you're gonna spend more time on it to make it look even and balanced. But I'm just gonna do that just because there's no need to do it real detail because it's just showing you the technique. Once you've got that, right click your layer 
and create clipping mask. There's a new, num, numerous ways of doing this. And then you can just see bits where you've probably missed out. I mean, this is not going to look very good. The brush is too big, it's too thick. But it's just a technique I'm showing you. And right click your lightning layer again and go to blending options. Select bevel and emboss. Technique to chisel hard. Make sure it's on inner bevel. Put the depth right up. And as you can see, it's starting to look like how you want it. And then put the direction to down. It gives it a bit more depth to it. And if it's still got too many black lines from your brush, just move the size up a bit, and you'll see it starts fading the black out but it gets a bit deeper let me get a happy medium that will do then all you need to do now is <coughs> either save it if you're using it for like an after effects project or premiere project if you're making an actual proper video not just a screen cap you can export this as a PSD and then import it into your other software as a PSD and it will still let you alter the layers and stuff or you can just go to save as come down to this little menu here and select PNG and then just name it whatever you like and when if the interlace option just click no unless you've got an interlace project in whatever you're importing it into and then if you look on your desktop you see that's what you have with a transparent background ready for you to import it into any other project that you feel the need to do it I mean this is only a simple way of doing it it works you don't need anything more than Photoshop and one custom brush which I'll put a link in the description or on the forum so that you can actually have everything ready to go and you can do it all entirely free with the Photoshop CS5 extended 30 day trial I believe it is which I'll also put a link in the description for ok thank you for watching and I hope it comes of use to you and people can start creating on their own